Hi there. Welcome to MCSI. My name is Rosie. In this video, I will give you an introduction to Linux forensics. Have you heard about Linux-based operating systems? It is another OS like Windows and Mac OS. Cybersecurity professionals utilize Linux computers regularly to perform special tasks. Likewise, cyber criminals also use Linux computers as instruments of cybercrime. Knowing how to perform Linux forensics is a valuable skill for a digital forensics professional. In order to perform Linux forensics, it is important to first know about the various Linux distributions available and how to use them for regular tasks. Once you get acquainted with how Linux computers work, you will then be able to perform Linux forensics efficiently. Are you wondering what Linux distributions are? Consider Windows. Over the years, you have seen variants like Windows XP, 7, 8, 10, and now Windows 11. Variants of Linux are referred to as Linux distributions, or distros. However, the classification of variants is a little comprehensive. Some variants are listed here. Debian-based, Arch-based, and Red Hat-based. Based off each variant, different operating systems exist. Ubuntu is a Debian-based operating system. Arch Linux is an Arch-based operating system. Fedora is a Red Hat-based operating system. Do you want to understand better about Linux distributions? Follow along with this article in MCSI's library. You can find the link to it in the description box below. On your Windows computer, files are stored across the C drive, D drive, and other drives as configured. On Linux computers, files are stored differently. They are stored across multiple folders, some of them are shown here. These folders are formally referred to as the Linux directory structure. Do you want to know more about the Linux directory structure? Follow along with this article in MCSI's library. You can find the link in the description box below. There you will find more information about the purpose of each folder. Your Windows computer always has a graphical user interface, also known as GUI. Some Linux operating systems come with a GUI and some do not. When a Linux OS does not have a GUI, a user can interact with it by typing commands in the terminal, which is like the command prompt in Windows. Now that you have an idea about what Linux distributions are and what the Linux directory structure is all about, are you excited to learn more about Linux? Here is how you can get started. On your computer, set up a virtual machine running a Linux OS. I would recommend Ubuntu, as it is easy for beginners to follow along. Understand the concepts surrounding Linux internals. There is an entire section in MCSI's library dedicated to explaining basic concepts in Linux. I am sure you will find it useful. You will find the link to it in the description box below. Use your new Linux VM for everyday tasks like web browsing, taking notes, etc. You will get acquainted with how it works. It is very important to know how to utilize Linux commands. Practice them. You can find tutorials for this in MCSI's library. Once you are comfortable with using a Linux computer, you can begin learning how forensics can be performed on it. If you liked this video, please hit like and share this video on social media. Don't forget to subscribe to MCSI YouTube channel to receive more videos like this one. Join our online community of students learning useful cybersecurity skills if you haven't already. To register for a free account right away, go to our website. Happy learning and see you soon!